The East Asian Seas Congress is one of the major outcomes of a decade of regional efforts by 12 countries. Brunei Darussalam, Cambodia, People's Republic of China, Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia, Philippines, Republic of Korea, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. Bordering a semi-enclosed, geologically unique international water system, these countries foster a dynamic ecological, political, economic, and cultural relationship. As they share the same waters and its abundance, and, inevitably, the same problems and threats. Over the years, these countries have been working together to address transboundary issues by forging an alliance pegged on multi-level, intergovernmental, and interagency cooperation. The Partnerships in Environmental Management for the Seas of East Asia, or PEMC. PEMC is doing a very useful job in the region, not only in the actual projects, the substantive outcome of projects, but also, I think, in building communication among the countries in the region, strengthening networks of different kinds of experts. PEMC, together with the Ministry of Science, Technology and the Environment of Malaysia, the Department of Environment Malaysia, and several agencies, international and national institutions, and non-government organizations, organized the East Asian Seas Congress in response to the recommendations of the World Summit on Sustainable Development regarding the regional implementation of global commitments on matters related to coasts and oceans. The Congress held in Putrajaya, Malaysia from the 8th to the 12th of December 2003 featured two main components. The Ministerial Forum on the Sustainable Development of the Seas of East Asia and the International Conference on the Sustainable Development of the Seas of East Asia towards a new era of regional collaboration and partnerships. The International Conference served as a platform for concerned stakeholders to discuss ways to strengthen regional and international collaboration, promote synergies and linkages among existing regional and global programs, and work towards achieving sustainable coastal and ocean development in the East Asian Seas region. Well, I have a, I'm very, very positive about this Congress, especially because uh, it managed to bring together people from different disciplines, people from different roles in society, people who are coming from the governance side of the, uh, of the situation, people who are technical uh, experts, people who are practitioners, people who are down to earth as local officials and community members. I think that's the value of this conference, the fact that uh, the, the various people who have been looking at the issues about the seas of East Asia from different perspectives, uh, in effect, were enriched by each other. The International Conference formally commenced with an opening ceremony led by PEMC's Regional Program Director, Dr. Chua Thia Eng, and Malaysia's Minister of Science, Technology and the Environment, the Honorable Datu Seri Lau Hieng Ding. Providing valuable insights during the opening plenary, were distinguished keynote speakers such as the former president of the Republic of the Philippines, Fidel Ramos, the senior technical advisor for the Environment Department of the World Bank, Dr. Stephen Lindner, and the chairman of the Environmental Quality Council of Malaysia, Dato Kok Wikian. The international conference focused on two major themes. Theme A, a review of international and national efforts towards addressing the main sectoral concerns regarding the seas of East Asia provided workshops that focused on specific issues such as maritime transport. This examined the safety and environmental challenges related to shipping and discussed the implementation of international environmental instruments at national and regional levels and other initiatives to promote safe and efficient maritime transport. The workshop on land-based pollution 
looked into the management of wastes coming from land-based sources and the efforts being done on the national and regional levels to prevent the destruction of coastal and marine ecosystems. The Fisheries and Aquaculture Workshop tackled issues on food security and the progress being made on the implementation of international agreements regarding sustainable fisheries. It also brought to light the experiences and measures for sustainable fisheries at national and regional levels. The value of marine biodiversity in the region was highlighted at the Biodiversity Workshop. National and regional efforts to protect East Asia's marine resources as well as future areas for collaboration were put forward.